Straight line winds to blame. Yesterday's storm knocked over trees and power lines in one Hamilton neighborhood. And while this was not a tornado, you can certainly see the damage left behind. Nine on your sides. Jay Warren is live from the Lindenwald neighborhood with this new information and the cleanup tonight. Jay. Well, the National Weather Service said that the storm seemed to intensify right over the city of Hamilton. And for the folks living along this street, they know that it intensified even more right here. This tree's roots and the sidewalk on top of them were no match for the winds that were blowing the rest of the tree last night. Fortunately, the family inside wasn't hurt. The tree that used to stand here crashed down on Ron Parker's car and truck. Crush, you know, like a pop cans or something just smashing. I still say it wasn't um, an actual tornado. Laura Weathers shot some video of the clouds last night that she says were rotating a little bit, but her assessment seems to jibe with the investigator from the National Weather Service. We had some circular clouds right here, but it was a straight wind that came after it. Most of what we've looked at so far has the trees pointing in one direction. So up until this point, it looks like it's from straight line winds. Butler County Emergency Management walked with the weather service today. There were comments voiced by a couple of residents that the county sirens didn't go off until after the damage was done. We saw a large number of relatively large trees coming down. Um, we saw power lines coming down. We saw some damage to properties uh, as well as vehicles. So the sirens were then activated uh, countywide to notify individuals to take cover and then tune in and see where this storm may be tracking. Now, Butler County says that it's always assessing situations like this, and if there's something to learn from it, they will. In the meantime, the family who lives here, a young family, they were not hurt. They had to go out the back door. There's no timeline when they'll be able to get back in. Of course, they've got to remove this tree first. Jay Warren, 9 on your side, Hamilton.